To kick off our first ever Farm Credit College, we're delighted to welcome Dr. Donald Jonovic to guide us through the strategies and action planning of surviving family farming whitewater. And the question really becomes not how well we enjoy the scenery and the lifestyle. The question is how well do we work together when we hit those rapids, which we inevitably do. Excellent presentation and it really fits my situation. I'm 60 years old, have one son that farms with me and one that works full time somewhere else debating whether to what the future holds. So. It's called cash basis accounting, which is probably the closest thing that farmers take to taking heavy doses of arsenic on an annual basis. Is one of the reasons why we can't plan and we can't do the kinds of things we need to do because we wind up starving ourselves for cash in order to screw up the The first step, of course, is admitting that they need to do something because otherwise there's always a reason not to. But the second thing is, and I think this is the most critical aspect of it, is find the right key advisors. You need an attorney, you need a really good accountant, and you probably need somebody that's in the insurance or state planning business who could. Oh, just the concept as, as far as how to try to transition family members in and try to organize a structured meeting. Survivorship, yeah. All right, so if I died first, what would my wife have to go through to get that stuff? Nothing. It's, it's the closest thing to automatic of anything that happens at, at death. I liked it real well. Uh, really hit some subjects I think that uh, everybody in the, farm, in the room could relate to. A trust and will are much more analogous than a trust and a corporation or LLC or uh, limited partnership. You've heard bad things about irrevocable trusts, right? Well, it, it depends entirely on what the purpose of the trust is. You know what? A trust can be irrevocable but flexible.